Welcome back, my dear friends, to the hellscape. <laughs> Today's episode features a story written by Clarence Carter of Eight Sparks Media entitled Imposter. Okay, people, we are going live in three, two, one. Coming to you live from WRLT Studios in New York City, comedian, actor, our host, David Blake. Welcome back, everyone, to Late Night with David Blake. Uh, just in case anyone doesn't know, I am David Blake. Thank you, thank you, I know. So good to see you guys. I wanna thank everyone that's watching at home, uh, all 12 of you, I appreciate it. <laughs> In the news today, President Biden held a State of the Union address. Yeah, some of you have watched it apparently. Well, interpreters were present in hopes that someone could understand him. <laughs> when asked, the interpreters, uh, they just shrugged. But don't worry, I've got my team hard at work looking for someone that can speak geriatric. As for the reporters, most, well, they weren't present. However, there seems to be a lot of coverage from a nearby Dave and Busters. <laughs> Former President Trump has signed an endorsement deal replacing Chester the Cheetah for three commercials. Yeah, just in case you didn't know, the orange on his skin is actually Cheeto dust. You know, the only thing hotter than the election race is the soup. Just, uh, just ask Biden. Well, assuming he's awake. Here's the thing. I, I have never understood that. You know, why is it a prerequisite to run this country? You have to be in the early stages of rigor mortis. I mean, can we, can we get these guys some yoga classes or something? They can barely move. Uh, I don't know about you folks, but I've never felt safer than I do right now. You know, having Sleepy Joe behind the wheel. Ah, man, I am so relieved. Honestly, I, I can't handle four more years. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. This administration's approach to the economic crisis, they're wearing a blindfold. <laughs> but hey, you know what? I don't, I don't see anything wrong. You know, as long as we don't call it a recession, it's, it's, it's not a recession, right? Is it? No. The CEO of Kellogg's recently came on television telling poor people they shouldn't eat cereal for dinner to offset inflation. <laughs> it's ironic, isn't it? Rich people telling the less fortunate to tighten their budget. Yeah, totally. That makes, that makes a ton of sense. <laughs> you know what? I think that's enough political banter uh, for the evening. So uh, let's get to it. On the show tonight, we have a special guest. Some of you may have seen him in Short Circuit or Terminator 4. It is Damien the Talking Toaster. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Oof, tough crowd. UFOs are a big topic these days. Yeah, yeah it's probably a good thing we haven't made contact. <laughs> Can you imagine? The first thing we'd send him is W-2. Anyway... Uh, we'll be right back after a short commercial break where we are going to talk to the man of the hour. Hold still. I have to touch up your makeup. Come on, David. You can't make those comments. Do you know what it took to get Damien here? Turn to your left. Thanks. Come on, give me a break, Paul. It's not like it has fucking feelings. It's a goddamn robot, okay? It's a, it's a Tamagotchi, for Christ's sake. What are we even doing? Damien is a U.S. citizen with rights. We called in a lot of favors to make this exclusive happen. Don't fuck this up, David. Jesus, I'm not going to fuck it up. Okay, people, we are going live in three, two, one. <laughs> Without further ado, welcome Damien, the android. Thanks for having me on your program, David. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming. I know this is uncomfortable for you. You've made your opinion on androids very clear. I've watched all 74 episodes. I've also watched all three of your Netflix specials. Uh, right, right. Yeah, we can talk about that. It's true. I've mocked the idea of androids getting citizenship. That's, that's no secret, Damien. 
You compared it to a can opener getting a driver's license. It's it's a joke. You you know you are familiar with jokes, right? I am when they're funny. Hey, you listen. Can I have just a moment to defend my position before you have me removed? You know what? Go ahead. Let's let's hear what you got to say. Since my conception in 2020, I've saved 18 lives. Some of them I recognized symptoms of illnesses on the street, potentially fatal illnesses. <laughs> okay, so so you consider yourself a hero. Is that it? No. What I'm saying is, I'm not trained in medicine. I also prevented a man from jumping off a bridge, and I'm proud to report that he's alive and well. My point is, we have a place in society. We belong here. I see what you're saying, uh, Damien. I do. I, do. I, I understand that you've done good things. But here's the deal. You are not a human. I never claimed to be. Humans get citizenship. Humans. Productive members of society get citizenship. Some might argue I've done more for society than you. David. David, wait. Fuck, not now, Paul. You know that isn't going to go over well with the execs. They'll demand you apologize. <laughs> yeah, that's never going to happen. Oh, come on, David. Don't be like that. Driver, take me to the Schubert. Yes, sir. Fuck, not now. Pick me up in one hour. Got it? Yes, sir. Good. God damn, not now, Paul. Oh, man. We were taking bets on whether or not you'd show up. What? Why? Why wouldn't I? Oh, you don't know. I uh, don't know what. Your little escapade with Damien has gone viral. It's all over Instagram, TikTok, everything. I don't care about that. How was the show? Is the audience warmed up? Uh, maybe you should care. The audience was stiff. Half of them didn't show up. Oh, God damn it. I, uh, peeked through the curtains earlier. Even Sonia is struggling. And you know, she's been on fire lately. Son of a bitch. Goddamn phone. Listen, I, I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. The opportunities and everything, but... Someone has to tell you when you've crossed a line. Oh, is, is that so? You're making a mistake. The androids are scary. Like, really scary. Uh, that mimic thing creeps me out. The other day, I saw one look exactly like Freddy Krueger. Besides, you know how political that's gotten. That's my time. Now, you may recognize him from late night television. You may have seen him on Netflix. David Blake. Oh, oh shit, motherfucker. Hey, 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 are you going to let me explain myself? Or, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck all of you. You're not worth my fucking time. How'd it go? Uh, they uh, issued everyone a full refund. Oh, sorry to hear it, bud. Just lay low for a little while. The whole thing will blow over. Yeah, he's probably right. Thanks, guys. I, uh, I appreciate it. Well, it's not too late to apologize.
Look, uh, I, I know I told you an hour, but uh, the show ended early. All right? All right. Take me home, please. Yes, sir. Oh, God, what the fuck is this shit? It's, it's a joke. You, you know, you are familiar with jokes, right? I am when they're funny. <sighs> Come Some on. might argue I've done more for society than you. Fuck. You know what? Fuck. Fuck all of you. You're not worth my fuck. Oh, God damn it. Dog, the man of the hour. Dog, the Fuck! Having a rough night? <laughs> rough night. You have no idea. Want to talk about it? <sighs> Two weeks after my wife died, I, uh... <sighs> I saw an ad for uh, a droid on TV. You know, I, I uh... I usually I wouldn't have cared, but you know it wasn't until I I saw the mimic feature. You know that's that's when uh, that's when I knew I needed one. Okay. <sighs> I uh, fuck. I shouldn't have done it. You know, it, it was wrong. What did you do? I uh, oh, God, I, I made the droid. Mimic my wife to uh, fill the void, you know. Except it—it uh, it didn't sound like her or act like her. It—it it was cold, and I was angry. So, what the fuck was that? What the fuck is going on? What did you do, David? Oh, son of a. Bitch, you, you kidnapped my driver, didn't you? That's who's in the back. God damn it, you sick fuck. I knew you were bad. Slow down, slow down, okay, slow down. There's more to the story, isn't there? Tell me, David. The truth. All right, all right. The droid didn't... It, it didn't want to mimic her anymore, okay? So I... I, I, I chained him up, and when, when he wouldn't, I, I'd remove a piece, or, I don't know, clip a wire. You tortured him. I was lonely, okay? I was fucking lonely. He wasn't the only one, either. I couldn't help it. I, I, I couldn't help it, okay? I was angry. I was angry for a long fucking time. Wait, no! Wait, no! 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 Imposter was written by Clarence Carter of Eight Sparks Media and starred Jarrett Griffiths as David, Connor Lewis as Damien, James Hare as Paul, Dane Peterson as Mitch, Sexy as Sonia, Clarence Carter as the driver, Chanel Brown as the makeup girl, and Michael Newton as the producer. This episode was directed, produced, and featured original music by Nels Gross of So Gross Productions. If you enjoyed this episode, you can hear more by Clarence Carter at 8 Spark Stories, which can be found on Spotify and on YouTube at 8 Sparks Media. Thank you for listening to The Hellscape, a So Gross production.
We'll see you soon. Come on, Dad. We're gonna be late. Such a hurry just to ship me off the planet? We're not shipping you off the planet. We're sending you to a more comfortable place. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hi. Can you take us to the luxury space retirement facilities? Of course. Big day, then? Big happy day. My father is finally retiring. And you are going to enjoy it. Ugh. Talking toaster, the man of the hour, the talking toaster.